Good day, everybody. My name is Rickatoffin, and welcome back to more of The Walking Dead, the final season. Holy shit. We're in the third episode. Well, not third episode. Part three, you know what I mean, of episode one. Anyways, uh, let's get back into the game. <laughs> I think we were playing, uh, what is it, a card game? Two don't really look related, so... Oh, yeah, that's right. What happened there? Um... They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Um... Grossest thing eaten, met fa any famous people. Uh, worst injury. You guys meet anyone <laughs> famous out there? No. Too bad. You'd figure a movie star or something would show up somewhere. They had like millions of dollars. They're probably living in a bunker with butlers and waterbeds out the ass. Yeah, maybe. I met a guy who used to be a baseball player. Like, for money. That's cool. I used to love baseball. Was he good at it? I don't know. We never got to play. He was good with a bat, though. Baseball sucks. You suck. Not as much as baseball. Nice comeback. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're no Come cyborg. On, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happens. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. I met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? Hmm. Huh. No. He was such a huge dork. Oh, dude, you fucking loved him, huh? <laughs> this is adorable. I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? Lee. The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah, I taught AJ the same way, too. Oh, wow. No kidding. Lewis would know. <laughs> I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Um. Uh... Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw so Walker get hit in the head so hard, both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw some <laughs> of your intestines pulled all oh, the way man. out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. Whoa. That's pretty intense, man. Alright. Victory Violet. <sighs> Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> yep. Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? Whoa. That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, anyone but me? Uh. Lewis, definitely. 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 <laughs> definitely. <laughs> what? I'd have said the same. There you go. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Oof. Oof. Lewis. Hey, she Oof. wanted me to ask. Oof. And oh, uh, I haven't. Uh. Well, almost once. Lee. His name was Lee. He was dying. I let him become a walker instead. Oh. Got it. I know it's not the same, but. 
think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, poor girl's yeah. been through a lot of shit. For the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Oh boy. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Did Long something go wrong? I I, I I can't tell. Long. Something's going wrong. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax. Get some sleep. Be human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. If we can stay. All right. We can talk about it. He's like, hee hee, yeah. That looks like a really safe window. <laughs> it does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Uh oh. Where the hell is it? Oh. Yep. You know what? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten Sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's, it's fine. Um. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. Settling in? I always like this room. That's all I have. So had, like... Paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. Literal shit? Minerva. Gross. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. No, oh, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Ouch. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? <laughs> 
I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool too, up there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, mm -hmm. I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. Aww. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. He did try really hard. How about here? Uh, AJ? Where'd that kid... Where'd he keep sneaking to? Oh, it's right there. Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh, man. This bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? No one's what coming in. What if they steal stuff? Nobody's gonna come in. Trust me. That girl just came in. If I stay here, no one can find me, and I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. Okay, okay, you can sleep under the bed. Here, for your head. <laughs> Let me know if you get cold. I will. Be a little easy on the kid, you know. Okay. Don't want to give him Good too night, hard AJ. of a time. Clem? Yeah? I'm glad we're not sleeping in the car anymore. Yeah. Me too. This is pretty cool. I really like the game so far. I like the narrative. It's pretty interesting. gonna let us stay right I guess we're gonna find out let's find his office I know where it is I'll show you up here come on Clem this way hey AJ wait up it's in here Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? Oh. I've never seen one before. They're still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. Mm -hmm. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. Uh -oh. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlon is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. Hey, 
What'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Louis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Wow. Marlon? Oh. Stay back. Said dogs brought back bad memories. Whoa. Sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <whistles> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you, is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie, shh. Sorry. I promise she's not gonna bite. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down at her level. Let her get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. Aww. Such a good girl. There you go. So cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, we bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow. Well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. All right, use the right stick to look around and select an object. Look at the river. Hmm. And what's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. The greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. It had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. That's a shame. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. Kind of wonder why. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place is a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and food's become more scarce. So 
Why not go outside it? I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. You've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah. Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Sorry. Whoa. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Mm. Let's go do some hunting. Yeah. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're going to find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. Hmm, see you around. Yeah, there's something off about that kid. Really off. I think he's scared. He's scared. He needs to go to church. He's scared air day. Air day, everybody. Air day. All right. Hunting grounds are usually clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree, traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please, I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja, skilled in the craft of martial arts. Thanks for the warning. Careful around those, okay? Okay. Y'all are no fun. We got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. What about everyone else? We need to work together as a team. I mean, sure, yeah, sometimes. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. You play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. And what if you don't make it that far? Shh, shut up a second. With my trusty knife, I shall. Oh, never mind. Ah, hey, check this guy out. He's like a Walker pinata. <laughs> Cut it down, fix the snare, and let's go. I will, I will. Eventually. If you want food for the kid, I could use a hand. Or you can mess around with this idiot and starve. It's up to you. Oh, you can stand. So dramatic.
think I'm gonna help Lewis. Wanna take a swing? It won't bite. Well, that guy would, but the bat won't. <laughs> you know what I mean? You get it? Um I should be helping food. All help right. hunt. Suit yourself. I should be helping. I should be helping uh a shim. I actually should be getting the food because I don't want to screw the chance for uh, AJ. So where the hell's he at? Come to hunt? I hear something rustle around in here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, let me help you out. For a second there, I was worried you were going to encourage him. I'll never understand that idiot. You good shot? Yeah. I don't think he's an idiot. I'll chase him out of the bush. You shoot. But I just want to get my priorities straight. Last time I was out here, it looked like one of the rabbits had some babies. I'm not sure how many are still around, so careful where you shoot. Aim for the parents. Aww. Fuck. Well. Yeah, don't worry about it. Better to save our arrows anyway. I saw some others run this way. I gotta catch some. I gotta get food. I gotta catch some food. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Yeah, don't worry about it. Better to save our arrows anyway. Clem, Clem, come here. I missed. Damn it. I fucked up. Look, it got one. It's a baby. Well, all meat is good meat. It's not enough. Release it. Why to get bigger? I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow doesn't exist, Dingus. There's just today, and today I'm hungry. We're hungry. Are you gonna do it? I can't watch. Aww. Bye, bunny. Really? What are we supposed to eat tonight, then? Ah, uh, I get it. I wouldn't want to kill a baby bunny, either. They'll thank me in a few months. Yeah, you can't just kill a baby bunny. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. We good to go now, or what? I guess this is it. Hopefully next time there are more targets. And maybe some sharper aiming. Yeah, sorry. I'll take this back. You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and see if they've managed Damn, to snag any fish. Damn, I fucked up there. This isn't going to be enough for the whole school. I like fish. That's great. See ya. Follow me. The girls are probably near the shack. Do you like fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Clem, look. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. It's clear. Holy shit! This place is wrecked! 
All our supplies are gone. I'll take a look around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. That's fresh. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh, shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> fuck. Take a second. Breathe in deep and hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. Oh, shit. So what do we do? Eat rocks? We can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. Oh, the train station. The train station. It's not too far from here. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. All right, fine. Lead the way. Oh, sweet. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. We barely got out of here. It was close. Sounds scary. There's a reason. We could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. Hmm. to get the walker's attention. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, babe. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. Okay, Prince Charming, let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. <laughs> I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. <laughs> I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck. Oh boy, here we go. All right, guys, let's do this. Oh. 
sweet. So far, not dead. So far. I'll let those know when we're ready. What is he waiting for? Oh, boy. Come on, come on. Fucking please. Just give him a second. Oh, fuck. Hurry up, Lewis. He may not have a second. Oh, man. All right, Lewis. All right, cool, cool, cool. Got me scared there, man. Sweet, sweet. There's the dead couple. Yes, these will be perfect. Plenty. Look. Try it out. See if it works. Cool. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys. We're gonna have to call it good here. If you guys like the video, uh, please leave a thumbs up. It sure does help out the channel. And if you guys do want to see more, just leave a comment down below. And as always, we'll kick it again in the next video. Later.